It's gut check time for investors. This is a serious down day with the major averages down between three and four percent and a lot of stocks down even more than that today. In fact, more than half of all stocks in the S&P 500 are actually in correction territory, meaning they're down more than 10 percent from their year high. So there's a lot of things breaking down in the market today. Markets getting crushed by just too much uh, too much to carry. Higher interest rates, more aggressive Federal Reserve policy. International markets are doing very poorly. I recently wrote a piece, how long can the U.S. market fly like soar like an eagle when it flies with turkeys? Okay, it's on my website. Check it out, clientfirststrategy.com for more information. By the way, I'm Mitch Goldberg. So the deal is this. So you have the higher interest rates, more aggressive Federal Reserve policy, uh, really poor performance from international markets. Transportation stocks not doing particularly well. There are just a lot of things going on. Inflation is creeping back into the picture. A number of large companies have lowered earnings guidance and or expectations for profit margins because of rising input costs, rising materials costs. So there's just too much to bear for the market at the moment. And as a result, you saw a lot of stocks that are high flyers, the stocks that led the market higher this year, technology and industrials, actually the ones that are now leading the way lower today. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this continues for a little while longer, but for now, I'm going to say this is just a correction in a bull market until proven otherwise. However, my clients have seen the cash buildup in their portfolios over the last couple of months. A day like today, it's very comforting to know, and I'll be looking to put some of this cash to work. I wouldn't do it right away, but if I do see markets come in a little bit more, then maybe I'll start to nibble. But I want to talk to you about something, some advice that you're not going to really see on TV because it's kind of boring. Yes, I know this is an exciting day, exciting in a bad way, but it's an exciting thing going on, you know, stocks up and down. But the common sense advice, which is not that exciting, is really just a back to basics advice. It's really about asset allocation. Make sure now, which is a really good time to check how much you have in stocks like um, large cap companies, small companies, mid-sized companies, in bonds, long-term bonds, intermediate term bonds, short-term bonds, and cash. This is really important to do because if you're, let's say if you're 10 or more years away from retirement, I don't think you really have too much to worry about right now. In fact, a down market is your friend. Think about all those contributions to your retirement plan, your 401k plan coming forward. Um, it gives you an opportunity to buy what you would buy anyway at lower prices. That's a good thing in my book. But if you're five years away from reti retirement, in retirement, well, stocks are still an important part of the asset mix. But because stocks have gone up so much over the years, it might be time to check your allocation and say, you know what? I've made enough money in stocks. Maybe I need to pare it down. Lower some, I'm just trying to get my hands into the, uh, into the lens field here. Lower your risk a little bit, take some profits, and maybe build up your cash reserves. Uh, money markets right now are paying a little bit over 2%. If you look hard enough, you can find them. I know I have. And maybe you want to go into some more bonds or something like that, but something safe. So that's the common sense advice on a day like today. I know a little boring. Um, I'd love to give you the stock of the day, but really, I don't think that's what's going to help anybody. So if you want more information about this and you want to read more information about markets, um, economy, things like that, check out my website, clientfirststrategy.com. If anything changes, I'll be sure to make another video and I'll speak with you soon. Thank you.